Today we're gonna to be playing some more Diablo Immortal. All right, so we've been doing this for about seven days now, so let's see, okay, yeah, it seems like we claimed all of our instant two-level daily things. And then in terms of daily tasks, oh, okay, so it's what I was saying in yesterday's video where you just have to log in at least seven of the 20-some days that this event is going on, and then as long as you do that, then you gain access to all of the various things. So now we have 20 some days to complete this stuff, which is going to be easy trapeze for sure. So right off the rip, let's do this. What's this? Complete one bestiary page. How do we do that? Okay, so now we're here at the bestiary. I remember looking at this like one time many. Oh, whoa, look at all those fancy animations. But yeah, I remember doing this like many episodes ago where we opened up the bestiary and I wasn't exactly sure what to do. So like there is one page of it. Like does that count or is there something else that I'm supposed to do here? Whoa, what in the world? I opened it and all of a sudden it just dropped me like literal legendary what what did i do to deserve all that i'm so confused okay but if i come up here to that okay so there there we go there's 350k xp just like that that should be enough to level up there we go paragon level 19 now let's see is there any other bestiary pages that i have unlocked since okay so there's a lot of enemies in here i'm surprised that we haven't filled out more pages somehow but i guess we'll have to go out maybe do some rifts or other things and hopefully discover some of these yeah apparently we barely discovered anything one out of 52 over here it's like the same thing one out of 55 zero out of six 63 and okay there we go we just leveled up to paragon level 20 i'm just going through all the menus and claiming stuff and i'm getting a bunch of different things seems like we completed another oh no this was for the returners gifts thing okay there we go so we got more of those you know what let's go ahead and complete two bounties i don't think we've done literally like any bounties at this point it was telling me to go to my quest menu to find that funny uh <laughs> funny thing there how do i actually get to my quest menu yeah i'm not sure i've been clicking through a bunch of menus and i literally can't find it so that kind of sucks well let's look what are the tasks do we have to get done we got the bounties one which obviously we can't do yet catch a fish for 350k xp you know what like cannot process pathfinder why not dog let me go catch a fish oh wait here's this the bounty quartermaster maybe this is where i get bounties from okay so i just claim some whoa he's spewing loot out all over the floor okay i guess I'll, i mean it's only like blue stuff so it's not actually that good okay give me a oh okay so maybe the reason that i didn't have access to bounties is because i didn't even do this guy's quest yet whoops whoa what in the world he gave me like this floating object to inspect okay the corvus pendant yeah i still have a bunch of those green quests that i need to do which are all like basically tutorials for you know important features like this in the game and yeah i just haven't done a lot of these yet so i should probably get on that why can i not get out of this check the board if you're looking for bounties new ones are posted daily oh okay i see it here now the bounty board if you're looking for a real challenge i know there are more dangerous creatures out there for someone of your skill maximum level bounties can only be completed in hell difficulties switch to hell one difficulty using the minimap in westmark okay okay well here's the thing right like i'm trying to look at the bounty board but it's not letting me use it like it just says zero out of eight and i i know what it's saying it's like oh, there's more dangerous things out there, whatever, but, like, I, can't I just, like, look at this board specifically? Like, I am so confused. Check the board if you're looking for bounties. New ones are posted daily, and then I come over to the board, and it's just, it's just that. So, I mean, I guess I gotta switch over to the Hell 1 difficulty. Defeat the final Helicory boss of the previous difficulty to unlock. Well, what the heck, then? Let's solve the flame spun. Okay, well, how do I, you are not carrying a Helicory. Visit Kane's workshop in Westmark to learn more. Well, then take me there. Where in the world is Kane's workshop? I have not been there in ages. I literally need to go like what, each of these one by one to figure out where it is. I genuinely can't find it. I've been clicking everywhere. Where in the world is Kane's workshop? It's here in Westmark, is it not? I have clicked literally everywhere. So I'm about to just say screw it and give up. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. We had a quest over here. Opening the Heliquary. Talk to Kane. Okay, so now we're, we can finally do it. I love this game, but the menus literally, <laughs> my, my, I just, I can't. All right, Kane, help me open up this thing. All right, now we're gonna go find Rayek in the central square. All right, now we need to pick up the Heliquary. Okay, so is this what I I needed in order to get it whoa what okay now my screen's going all crazy oh save westmark okay yeah that's a nice quest update dog i didn't know it would come to all this <laughs> like literally the quest thing on the side literally went from saying like talk to ray pick up the thing to save westmark is it like the misshapen oh my goodness you are a grotesque being all right well i'm assuming that i've had access to this quest for a while which means that you know that i was probably intended to do this at a much lower level which means we're probably going to shred through this in about 0.5 seconds there we go daily reward earned one star legendary gem that was our day seven so next time we're on the game that'll you know reset all right what are we dealing with here just a couple of low level goons yeah this ain't no big deal you know there's all these demons attacking and i'm pretty sure they're supposed to be threatening but i i don't feel very threatened now we gotta enter Rocky's plaza which this is also where the boss is at so yeah i just want to go straight for the big boy if i can destroy the death spires protecting chaos herald pill see the nice thing about having five million different summons at my disposal 
disposal is I'm able to just do the objectives like this while I have like three different goons just kind of protecting me. So I'm still doing a bunch of damage. I'm still earning a bunch of XP, but you know, realistically, I'm just standing here shutting down the death fire. I didn't realize just how much I was going to enjoy necromancy in this game, but like this is genuinely so much fun. All right, now we got to kill Chaos Herald Pill, which uh, 100,000 XP. All right, yeah, well, come on, summons, get over here and help me with this. Um, all right, there we go. He's passed halfway down. Doesn't seem like he has any other phases of any kind, and just like that, he is dead. And I'm assuming that's the end of the quest. <laughs> oh no, more enemies in the way. It would be really a shame if I had a bunch of goons with me to melt all of you in five seconds. Oh wait, that's just what happened. All right, now we need to defeat LaSalle, which is actually one of the things that we were just looking at, correct? This may even play into like one of the bounties or whatever, which is really nice. You know, I almost feel bad for these bosses at this point. Y you know, like, they get they get so prepared. They come out with like 250,000 some XP, and I don't even need to worry about their moves. I don't need to worry about dodging them. I don't need to worry about doing anything, really. I just need to spam the number keys in my mouse, and, you know, they, they die in a matter of seconds. And would you look at that? We saved Westmark, and now we need to talk to Ray again. Oh, no, we need to grab the Heliquaria again. Hold on. Well, we did this before, and it didn't end good last time. Am I... Uh, 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 is everything okay this time? Now we need to complete Challenge Rift 6, kill uh, Chaos Hero Pill in Challenge Rift 6. Okay. Now I just need to see something. Okay, so we got this here, the Helicoria claim that. Did that play into like any of our bounties or bestiary pages or anything? Because I mean, that was quite the beast. Well, it seems it didn't. So we're going to go ahead and go into a Challenge Rift. In fact, I think the next one is level 6, which is literally perfect. So we'll go ahead and clear this out real quick. I don't even remember what led me here at this point. I remember we were trying to do one thing with bounties and then something with bestiary pages. And now we're doing a Challenge Rift. It's just... <laughs> It's one of those things with this game where it's like one rabbit hole leads down to another to where you need to do this quest to do this thing and that thing. And then maybe eventually in the end, you'll end up where you were trying to get originally and maybe not. But I mean, hey, I'm still having fun hacking and slashing demons. So, you know, that's all that matters. I love this location. I believe we got this the last time that we came in here to do a challenge rift. And I said it before, but it really does look like I'm straight out of like Diablo 4. Like I just, I love the overly demonic aesthetic. This one is taking us just a little bit longer to get through because the enemies are really spacious out in this one for some reason there was also another part of this event that i wanted to do so it's called like the shady stock or something like that but basically the more quests that i complete for that guy the more of the green currency that i get and that green currency allows me to buy legendary items from him but that's not necessarily the thing that i want the thing is i have to buy at least three legendary items from him and then that'll give me access to a mystery set item and i'm hoping that it'll either a give me the choice to choose a set item or at the very least we could get lucky and have the set item be one of the ones that we need for the current set that we have because right now i believe we have what either like three or four pieces for it which means we do need like another two or three yet at least in terms of like trying to get our set to be as just ultra powerful as it can be because right now we already do have a few pretty good buffs off of it like if you guys remember the uh the first two set pieces gave us our summons 15 percent more damage which in itself i can already tell has been a huge help in a lot of these battles just in terms of like sheer dps but once we get that final ability where we can send him into a frenzy state and you know they're attacking real fast they're dishing out criticals left and right like that that's gonna be next level and Anyways, just like that, we have completed the challenge rift technically, and now the boss is here, so we can just shred through him real quick and get this over with. Just like that, Chaos uh, Herald Pill is down. We can go ahead and claim all this stuff. There's a lot of legendary stuff on the floor. I don't even know if I'll have enough inventory space for it. Somehow, miraculously, we did, but yeah, my, my inventory is almost full. We also have some legendary items that we need to go identify, so we will be doing that in a moment, but for now, we can go ahead and leave this rift. I feel like we have been all over the place in this episode, but you know what? I'm rocking with it. All right, so now we need to go back and talk to Rayek again now that we did that challenge rift and actually the identifier is really close to here so we're gonna make a pit stop over there while we're over in this direction oh my goodness now I need to pick up another helicory from Ray oh okay I see uh is is there I'm uh, sure yeah pick it up I don't know uh, that was different this time it gave me a menu okay so I need to click up here to view the helicory oh this is a whole new tab I didn't have before click to select demonic remains to seal oh okay I see this wait Plies fl wait, what? Is this like something that I picked up before? Do I need to like drag this over? Okay, seal it. Does that, it's done. Did it work? Can you feel his strength flowing through you? Wait, did I, did, 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 does that buff me? Helicore level one bonus attributes, combat rating plus 17, uh, plus a fortitude, plus seven vitality. Critical hit chance increased by 3%. The following attributes only activate in Helicore raids and challenger. Oh, okay. So if I put this stuff on, it'll make me more powerful for those raids at the rifts. Okay. Now it's telling me to talk to her again, but first things first, I, I want to go talk to the identifier. I want to see what this loot is that we got. I still at some point need to go through and look at all of our legendary gear between the gear and our inventory, as well as in our stash to see like what I want to extract, what I want to put on my main pieces of gear. Cause I, I have dozens of pieces of legendary gear at this point so i just need to figure out like 
What's good? What's not? Okay, let's see. Is that uh, compared to what I have on? No, like basically the same thing, basically the same thing, and it works. This is a lot better though. I will definitely equip that. I'll go ahead and slap a gem in there while we're at it, plus 16 damage. Now we got even more stuff we can claim. Okay, Seal Pills, Demonic uh, Remains, and then now we need to upgrade the Helicory to level two. So I take it I need to complete this quest in order to get access to the raids themselves. I could have swore that I kind of did like a raid before or something. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that, but I could have swore we did like some other raid in an earlier in fact i remember titling one of the episodes about us doing one of the raids anyways as i was saying before we did actually end up getting enough of this guy's currency in order to be able to buy a new piece of legendary gear so now i think we need to come over here to the shady stock and yeah like i said we have a hundred things so we'll just go ahead and buy this i guess sure and now we are back down to zero but that's okay because i don't really care about the gear itself i was just trying to get that and now at this point i just need to buy one more legendary item which means i just need to complete a few more quests for this guy and then we should be all good to go Ooh, okay look at this new weapon this looks to be better at, at least i mean the damage is basically the same but the score is a lot higher however this is base damage before upgrade so i mean hey maybe i could try it the weapon itself does look pretty cool is it as menacing as my other one no but it's like it's purple and purple is awesome hey look at that we got another reward for us down here what's this the uh, telluric pearl used to craft the most powerful legendary gems nice all right now if you come back to the shady stock thing let's see so we need to complete three bonus drop dungeons purchase any three items from yakin the rarities and antiques dealer see the only problem is even if i do complete these so like even if i do this that only gives me 30 shady tokens and same thing here that i'll only have 60 at that point so i won't even have enough to buy another thing so maybe i should probably just wait until tomorrow and because then if i wait till tomorrow then i should be able to this should reset and i'll be able to do more quests i think to a lot more tokens which at that point means i'll be able to get the tokens i can buy the legendary item which then means we get the mystery set item and i'm hoping that the set item is relevant to the set that we have if it's not whatever it's still a set item regardless and that's you know obviously the harder gear to get in the game well maybe not necessarily hard gear because even set gear in itself isn't necessarily the most hard thing in the world to get it's just you know it's, it's not as common as even something like legendary gear is there anything better that i should be equipping before i go ahead and kind of swap some things out here uh yeah that seems to be a little bit better so we'll go ahead and put that on otherwise okay i think i'm safe to get rid of anything else we'll go ahead and salvage this stuff up i think i also need to go back to my stash and drop off more of this legendary stuff because i have so much legendary stuff i'm sitting on i'll upgrade one of our pieces of set gear while i'm here just because i can and yeah like i was saying before we actually do have four pieces of the set which means we really only need two more now i'll level up my chest piece for the sake of it all right we got it up to rank five and we can take it to six which means we'll get another bonus attribute so we'll go ahead and do that now let's see cheat death chance increased by six percent okay i don't want to spend too much of my current and stuff so that's kind of where we'll chill it for now with the upgrading but there we go we got three of our legendary pieces up to rank six which means each of those have a bonus attribute of some kind which is awesome but anyways as of now um i think tomorrow i might actually be making a call of duty video because there was something there was like an event of some kind that happened over there that i did end up completing so i'm gonna you know like make a video on that for tomorrow but by friday i do want to get back on this game i will be playing this game tomorrow off camera at least just when i complete some of the shady stock stuff and just kind of keep things moving with the event just to earn more xp so i'll do what i can off camera Camera, but then by the time we come back on camera there will still obviously be plenty of time to do other stuff in the event so we'll keep grinding stuff out there just keep trying to get as powerful as possible and then at that point i think uh, we'll also start to go back and go through the main quest i think at this point i just really want to get things set up here with these like green quests that i've been neglecting for so long just so i can unlock the rest of the things that i can do in the game between like the bounties and different various raids and other things like that and then once i gain access to all the other stuff that i've been neglecting like i can even see right here the greatest pastime find a fish around bellif and i like that's how i'd be able to catch a fish which i didn't even do that yet so we'll do all that unlock the rest of that stuff then we'll get back to the main quest and yeah we'll just keep grinding and at this point my main goal with the series is to get through the rest of the main quest and then from there i don't know we'll just kind of be chill you know whenever new events or dungeons or raids or whatever come to the game we'll grind the stuff out and yeah we're just gonna keep having fun but anyway as always master shout out to get all the patrons and channel members to get all the low volunteer remember shout out to get all the move volunteer my last game is admin in the video that's on gt run events so much cheese girl thank you guys so much guys for little legends i love you thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all peace